Hello, welcome to the podcast. Hello. Hello, Jiz. Hello. I look over at Ellie. She is, <laughs> Ellie is between three microphones and then goes to speak to blank air. Make a oh, decision. That, that took me Hotman. Hotman. Ellie. Hotman. Hello. Suspect number one. I'm having a pizza shape. I've hey. had, had a pizza shape in a very long time. Either had I. We just came out of a meeting. Um, would you say it's exciting what we were discussing? Very. Yeah. Oh, I wasn't allowed in that meeting. Either was I. Shit. Yeah, it's about your replacements. It is yeah, that's very cool. exciting. I'd be excited. I'm no, no, excited. You know, you know, generally what the meeting was about. Oh yeah, big things. Watch the yeah. space, guys. <laughs> big things coming. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. That's exciting. Yeah. The that private exciting. jet show. I thought we were done with the handshakes. But, oh. I said to Lauren the other day. I was like, oh, God, well, that, that's it for the annual handshakes. <laughs> the fucking what? <laughs> Next your year. idea. Your idea, back it in, out there, shaking hands, kissing babies. I loved it. It was great. Shaking babies. Met a lot of people. Kissing it was good hands. fun. I'm feeling sick. I've got a tingle in my throat this week. No. I've got a tummy ache today. No, it's a tingle in my... I said tingle in my... I know. <laughs> but I don't feel the best either. It's probably because you're sobering up after your, <laughs> your little shenanigan on a Monday night. Uh. Yeah, that was rough. All right. I'm fully sober now. That's good. What'd you have for dinner last night? Spaghetti bolognese. I had bolognese last night and I was almost <laughs> going to fucking text you. You should have. Why didn't you? Wait. I just needed a break. Did you have okay. spag ball last night? No. Bo- I had... Bolognese? Spaghetti. No, I had... Have you been on any dates since you've arrived in Melbourne? No. Are you on the dating apps? No. I'd hate that. I just can't do we it. We might have a date hey, for her next week. Hang on. Have you, <laughs> have you signed up to any or you've tried I it before? I have, yeah. I've tried it before, but it's just not my vibe. Yeah, I, right. I need to meet them in person. I need to do like a speed dating Oh, thing. yeah, right. You know? Is there any, anyone in the building you want us to like you know, lay some groundwork for? <gasps> I, could, I could set you up with Zion. He's the other <laughs> Irish guy. He's my friend in the building. Is that in the building? Yeah. You're an yeah. Irish mate here. Yeah, oh. he was here before me. He works in Crea- you know, Create. You guys know each other? Yeah. From the motherland? Yeah. You Bullshit. Could. You know each other from back in the motherland. Yeah. yeah. Wow. <laughs> and, he, I, and he got a job here like a year ago. Really? Yeah. I always walk past them on the way out and they're chatting and you cannot, you think he's hard to understand. Oh, you can't understand. When they're going back in the I don't even Truly not a word. Yeah. Which, which one is it? He, is he sits like on the way to the main door. I think he's the Irish one. He's the Irish guy. Oh, wow. Never would have guessed that. He's a fun guy. To practice his speed dating. Jason, do you have some speed dating music? Why don't you go on a quick speed date with Jason? Let's see how it goes. Oh, here we go. I get so awkward. Yeah, well, that's that's why you work on it. To well, improve. then you need an awkward okay. guy like no, no, Jace. No. I just have a bad boy. I'm a bad boy type of girl. <laughs> You're a what? Sorry? I like bad boys. And that's why it doesn't last. So what do you, what do you want a bad boy to do? <laughs> Not like don't... a bad, bad boy. But have uh, it, wouldn't you have dated like just as the in like occasional br- criminal conviction, br- or just like the the minor ones on the minor? Like oh, breaks like the bad, rules, bad boy. breaks the rules, but says sorry afterwards. No, just like a I don't know a Dra- bad rides a motorbike. <laughs> just a bad boy. Do you like a boy that rides bad a motorbike? I mean, sure, why not? But when you say real men ride women, Brody, when you <laughs> <laughs> Jazzy, you can't say that in this country. Oh, I can't say that. Um, <laughs> wouldn't you have tried a bad boy in the past and it hasn't worked out well? Yes, he cheated on me. Oh. Well, that's... Hello. <laughs> How long were you together? Four years. Oh, oh that's, that's... And was it an ongoing what a bad number boy. or was it a once-off <laughs> number? Bad boy. Like my... my the, the incident in question. Oh, so I didn't find out until like three or four months after. So I was still with him. Mm. And one of my oh. best friends told me because she found out. She thought I knew the whole time and I had no idea. <sighs> so, so it was, was the last full affair or just dated. a one night? The chick was just a one night, yeah. That's one. And I was joking. I'm joking. <laughs> you can't. So say that. I've said to Lou, if I find out you bash some bloke when you're full of booze, um, yeah. I'm not going anywhere. It was on. Um, I hate moving. <laughs> moving is an absolute bitch. If I find out, you know, you've been shacking up with this guy for a few months, then I guess I'll pack bags. But for one night, I, you know, I'll hang it over. That's a card. Wrong. That's a card that you keep close to your mm. chest for now. You don't put mm. that into the air for. Oh mate, I would roll it out any time. <laughs> when it's like, what do you want to watch tonight? I'd be like, well, why don't we watch my show? Because you watched another bloke last <laughs> Tuesday. So, oh, wow. You know, and I just do little things like that. But yeah, I haven't. Um... What do you want for dinner tonight, Barry? Again? Because okay. I would like Japanese. You know what I mean? <laughs> just little things like that. Sorry, Ellen. No, I'm, it's all good. My story's finished. Okay, um, awkward music. Too long, didn't read. We want a bad boy. 
When a bad boy who won't do bad things. Get out, Mick. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, this date's going to be quick. My parole oh officer is going to be around here soon. No, I want like a, okay. I need. I'll you, tell you what you want. <laughs> Can you hide this for me? I yeah. love a footy boy. You're not going to lie. Sorry. I love a footy boy. Are you a footy boy, Mitt? Yeah, yeah. I love, I love <laughs> footy. I don't pay to get in though. Fuck that. Climb the fence at the gym. No, no, no I want you to play. Does <laughs> want some of the ghosts of footy? Oh. <laughs> I've just moved to Melbourne and I want to find someone who likes footy. Yeah, I play uh, footy. No, I, that narrows it down. I played nice. footy on the inside when I was doing time. Yeah, nice. Yeah, we played with a concrete ball. Oh, yeah. I don't think that's going to work out. Why? <laughs> I'm just not vibing it. Well, I don't think you're going to be getting away. Oh! <laughs> Mick, down. <laughs> so, yeah, set me up. Let's go. Single, ready to mingle. That's oh, a my, plug. Oh, my God. There's a segment we can do on the podcast each day. Single ready to mingle. Let's meet today's potty that wants to date Ellie. Get out of <laughs> There could be some potties out there. Jazz, how long have you been with uh, your lady friend? My lady friend, um, casual going about eight years. Oh, well, she is she Irish? Yeah. She here legally? She is more illegal than I am, actually. Yeah, right. yeah I'm yeah. on her visa. Did um, you. When, are you going to pop the question? Ah. Oh. <laughs> At some stage. How old yeah. are you, Jism? I'm 27. And 20, how, and 28 how next month. <laughs> Miss Ireland? Sh- uh, sh- <laughs> Miss Ireland. The current Miss Ireland. Also 28. Oh, shit. That's triggering, isn't it? Yeah. We used to use that all the time for like little story arcs we'd do back at the. Um, <clears throat> mm-hmm. We don't, you know, the K word. Mm. Um, it'd be like, so, Marianne, did you cheat? <laughs> I love that. Yeah. And then you know shit's about to go down. <laughs> yeah. Be like, hey, guys, family meeting. <laughs> oh. Survivor. Uh, yeah, eight years. Do you love her? Love her loads. Oh. Have you thought about proposing? Yeah, yeah. But definitely not yet. We're not ready. We just moved to Australia. Did you move together? Yeah. Cute. How long ago? Are you, what, like a year and a half ago? Hmm. It's almost two years. Yeah. Do you live together? We live together. Could you imagine your life without her? No. Absolutely not. Can you bring her in? Yeah, I, I want to bring her in. You still haven't met her. Jace. Is she real? No, this is a tricky one to answer. <laughs> Let me explain. <laughs> if she's charged up, yes. How have you um, been with Lou and Asia? Uh, 22 years. And 22 how, years. Wow. And how long with we Lou in Australia? We had a quarter life crisis yeah, before we broke really. up. So you've been together basically my whole life. We, um, Jesus. <laughs> we, she moved to Brisbane with me. And we lived together there, bought a house, and then we broke up, had the quarter-life crisis. Mm. I had to buy out of the house so she gets mm. money. She moved back to Sydney, and then we got back together a year and a half <laughs> later. So then she gets half the house again. Oh, that would have been... And it already dropped the cash. That is a great business plan. Yeah, yeah. very good. Yeah. Very good. Mm. Yeah. Um, and we saw other people and went <sighs> full separate ways. But now wow. happily Did married. You? Or <laughs> <laughs> she would say happily. Did you I would prenup, take... go back and do the second time? <laughs> No, I just moved everything offshore. Good. Yeah. Came in. Yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, I'm bankrupt. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I waited 10 mm. years till I proposed. Yeah. You want to be sure. Same with my parents. To be, sure, were, to be sure. To be sure. To be sure. <laughs> they were together like nine years before they got, like yeah. eight years before they got married. Got married. Sometimes but people, now they're divorced. Sometimes people rush into it. They're like two years and they're in. Yeah. How people, long were you guys? I think my, my parents have been together since I was 17. And what about you? One year. Seven. You knew me so seven years. Seven years as of yesterday. Seven great years. Happy anniversary, Annika. Yeah. People in Australia, though, get married a lot younger than they do in Ireland. Yeah. I've noticed. Mm. Like, very young. Like, wifed up, yeah. ha- house bought at 25. I'm like, nah. Jazz? Yes. Oh. What role would we play at your wedding? Nice, like that. That's a good question. Solid question. Uh... Let me make it less intense. Okay, so I feel that I feel that you could be Jace, a guest band member. So, a what? A guest band member. So for one number, like Mr. most likely Brightside. Mr. Brightside, <laughs> you'd come on as a guest singer. I, or a trombone? No, no, no. Nah, take the mic. You can run with it. Thank you, Jiz. Yeah. Mm. It's a song that you don't necessarily need to be great on the lyrics for, but you can come in and just scream. Would we be doing a speech? Um, I'll take that one. 
You oh, could... No, you don't normally have the usher speak. <laughs> These are my confessions. I'll have what you're saying. Oh, thank yeah, you. that, that, that'd be great. <laughs> I'll have what you're saying. Thank you. Do you uh, want me to walk Miss Island down the aisle? <laughs> Miss Island. <laughs> you could hold her veil or her dress. Yeah, nice. oh. As long as you stay the fuck away from the bridesmaids. <laughs> okay, I'm going to be the flower girl. You could you're not be... that young. Calm down, Betty. <laughs> What am I? You can be the person who uh, initiates the, the dance yours. floor. Did you As consummate in... the wedding mm-hmm. on the oh, wedding night? Who yep. gets the dance floor going? I can. I can. Well, do like, that let's not be a, let's not be a step, babe. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's old fashioned. Yeah. Um, one rocky moment that I had in my relationship recently, and potties will know, is when I borrowed Jace's drone, brought it home, and flew it into my TV. <laughs> uh, new team His members. His wife absolutely blew up at him. What? We're not married. She's not my wife. Oh, sorry. sorry. <laughs> not, my wife. Wife. not my not wife. Not my wife. But yeah, so this was this yeah. was toward the end of last year, and I took it home to use no- and do normal drone things with. But I flew it inside <laughs> to get to, to get used to it, and yep. I crashed Dude. it into my TV, oh, wow. and it, re- it it broke the TV. So I had to replace that, and I had to uh, mend the cracks in our relationship after that as well, which is super fun. <laughs> then a, a, a month or two later. I saw, I'm in my building's Facebook group where they post things about the building. Yeah. And I saw um, someone post into it <laughs> a problem that they had with their drone. So let me read out. Are we, are we doing this? I might as well. I was going to do it for public notice board. Give it to the pods. We can replay this. We can replay this. Good call. Okay. So this was posted in my building's oh, Facebook oh, group. Sorry, let me set the scene. Oh. Don't so- give that same, that same ding. Don't give me that same <laughs> ding. Oh. All right. So, this was made by a man called Roman, and he says, Good evening, everyone. Roman. I'd like to apologise in advance for last night's inconvenience. I bought a new drone two days ago with an autopilot mode to be able to make videos without having to pilot it. I was too impatient to try it out last night, so I launched the drone in autopilot mode from my balcony, and it got lost somewhere. I can't find it because it's telling me it hit an obstacle, but I don't know where because it's flying by itself. <laughs> the information I have is he, le- he left from the 12th floor opposite the station and hit an obstacle 5 metres high and 25 to 30 metres away from me. This is up in the elevator. Oh my and I live in South Yarra overlooking South Yarra train station, which is quite a busy train station. Mm-hmm. And I live on the 16th floor on the same side of the building as this guy. The camera stayed on for about 30 seconds before going off and I thought I saw a balcony, but I'm not sure. It was too dark. I'd like to apologise again because I didn't really think it through and I just wanted to say hello to this new drone. (laughs) Stupid idea. If anyone has seen or found a drone on their balcony, I'd be very grateful if you could help me find it. Have a nice evening. Okay, that's so random. So he's lost it. He's lost the drone. Now, before I crashed my drone into the TV, I did have the thought to fly it off my balcony mm. because, you know, you just fly it up and then out and yeah. it would have been safe. Mm. This dude has lost it and he can't find where it is. So either someone has it on their balcony, it's crashed down onto the street. Even worse, it could have crashed down onto the train line at South Yarra Station. Who mm. knows? And nobody knows where it is. It's still not found. So he's had a worse time than I have. Where's my drone? Uh, well, I gave it to Roman to borrow. <laughs> <laughs> I need to bring that back in for you. Can you do me a favour? Delete the SD card. Because I don't know what you've been droning. I, just, I don't want to put it on and see if I can chop a view of you naked. Well, I wiped it before... That'd be you, Brody. Well, I wiped I wiped it before I packed it up to give back to you. But you didn't wipe it before you gave it to me. What was on it? <laughs> I didn't look. <laughs> but there was stuff on it. No, no, no. It'll just be me flying it out I the back. I can see thumbnails. My thumbnail. <laughs> um, no, no, no. That'll be me flying out the back of the house. You'll probably have the crash on there. The big crash in oh. 2020. Um, Todd is my mate and I were having a few beers in the backyard and we flew it into a tree. Oh, yeah, nice. <laughs> it was an expensive mistake. Yeah. Hey, it's so sturdy, though. It's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. yeah it's not bad. Yeah. Nope. TV was worse off. Not bad at all. Ali, anything from you? No. Oh. <laughs> What a shame. Sorry, I just want to thank everybody for listening to the podcast. We'll see you tomorrow. Nice. Um, happy Friday Eve for tomorrow.